come to the greenery. Hi, my name is Kirsten Segler from the Greenery. And in this segment, we want to talk about a variety of tender succulent called the Echeveria. This is going to be just part one of many more parts to come. Uh, this is my favorite type of uh, succulent and uh, is the one that we have the most selection of. So this, uh, this example here in front of us of a mixed bowl of Echeveria just gives you an idea of what you can do with these type of plants. Now they won't survive our uh, interior winters. They would survive on the west coast. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't use them in this kind of a feature in you know mixed shallow bowls. Very, very drought tolerant. We've only watered this, I think, about four times all season. So for a low maintenance, uh, heat loving plant, nothing beats the Echeveria for the Okanagan. So we're just going to do a small introduction to uh, a few of the varieties. We do carry many more than this, but uh, I've just selected some of my favorites uh, and some of our best sellers. Uh, we're just going to show a little close-up on them and introduce the name to you. So up front here, this first one is called Woolly Rose. Obviously, obviously has a, a woolly look to it, so a very uh, hairy type uh, leaf. So that's why it's given that name, um, Woolly Rose. Coming up behind here, this is called Chroma. So a little smaller head to this, which is great if you like the flowering effect of these. These all do have a flowering period, by the way. Uh, so the, the more heads you get, in a plant, the more flowers you'll get. So you'll notice as this part goes on, there's gonna be some varieties with really large heads. Well, in that type of a plant, you won't get quite as many of these flowering stalks. So this again is called Chroma, given that name because it does have a little bit of coloring on the uh, edges in the, in the leaf, little patches of kind of a chrome coloring that does appear at times. Over here, this is one of our best sellers. Uh, we do produce a lot of this one. This is called Pink Frills. So it does have a little frilly pink edge on it. Good solid grower and a uh, nice blooming habit to it as well. Up front here, this one's quite a rare variety. This is called Mexican Giant. It has uh, this white powder on the foliage that uh, you can see like that and it rubs off so very nice look to that one contrasting to the one beside it this is one of the slowest growing varieties there is uh, it's called black knight it is the darkest one that i know of we're just starting to get uh, some uh, heavier production of this so i will have this available for sale next year and it has the also the darkest flower that i know too a nice dark red flower uh, with the dark foliage. Uh, behind, a little bit of contrast to the, the dark one, uh, we have one called Lemon Lime. So it does have sort of that lighter lemony look to it. Uh, great for mixing in a bowl. You know, you can get the, some silver in there, some black, some lemon, and they just work great against each other, contrasting uh, colors. Uh, another smaller one here, Mexican Snowball. More rounded head to it. Obviously, I think that's why it's given the name uh, Snowball. So that's this one here. And uh, this would be uh, our best seller. Now it's very similar. This one's called Metallica. Now it's almost identical to Pearl von Nuremberg. You know, the average person wouldn't be able to tell the difference between those two varieties, but uh, do you think this one is just a shade darker, more pink in the core of it, but our most popular variety by far, Metallica. And moving along here now, to the front, we have a, almost like a miniature variety. This has taken a long time to get this stock pot to this size, called Puladonis, and it has a, a neat little red edge, uh, just on the very edge of the leaf there. Makes that one stand out a little bit different from some of the others. 